Hey, what's going on everybody? Making a quick video for you today showing you how to reset a forgotten password on a Windows 11 device with absolutely no third-party tools. We're going to do that by, I guess you could say, playing a trick on the built-in Windows utilities. And again, no third-party utilities needed here, just built-in stuff to Windows. So as long as you have access to the device, you got a keyboard and a mouse, you're good to go. This is a great way to help out family members, friends, or even yourself if you've forgotten your password. And it looks pretty badass. I mean, you're doing it just with built-in system utilities. You don't need anything. And sometimes you don't have access to a USB drive. And then other times, I forgot my password. Other times, uh, USB drives are disabled on a device. So we're just going to get around all that stuff and show people how badass we really are. All right, so the first thing I want to point out here, guys, is this little icon down here, this accessibility icon. Now, when you click on this, it launches a little utility in the System32 folder called utilman.exe. That's going to be a key here, and we're going to take a look at that in just a second. For now, though, hold down Shift at this login screen, and then restart. Don't let go of Shift until you see that Windows logo. Okay, you can let go now. All right, as you see, we did not go back to the login screen. We came to a recovery type of screen. We'll click on Troubleshoot. We're going to click on Advanced Options, and then we're going to head over to Command Prompt. This is going to give us an administrative command prompt outside of the booted system, so we can do a few tricky things here. But what we want to do today, you can do a whole bunch of stuff here, obviously, but what we're going to do today is we're going to copy that utilman.exe file. So we're going to do Copy C, Windows, System32, utilman.exe. We're just going to make a backup of it. So we're going to leave in that same folder, Windows System32, if I can spell, uh, utilman. You can name this whatever you want, but I just find it easier if I name it the same thing and put backup at the end, but that's kind of your preference. All right, so we made a copy of it. Next thing we want to do is we're going to copy the actually if you hit up arrow here guys it'll save you some time so next thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the cmd.exe which is the command prompt and then we're going to make that utilman.exe so let's talk about what we just did here and by the way guys when you do this it's going to ask you yes or no so if you append a y flag it's a little pro tip it won't prompt you but anyway the first thing we did was basically we made a copy of utilman.exe and the reason we did that is so we can uh, normalize the system when we're all done here which is just best practice otherwise you're going to be left with a gaping hole in your system anyone that can get to that login screen is going to have a uh, not a root shell but an admin command prompt and they're going to be able to pwn you pretty easily so we made a backup of that for you know normalizing the system purposes and then we went and we overwrote or we're going to overwrite the utilman.exe with the command.exe but we're going to keep it named as utilman.exe. That way the system still thinks it's utilman.exe but it's going to launch command.exe. It'll make sense here in a second I promise. We're done here guys. Close this out. Hit continue which will just take us back to the Windows 11 login screen. All right, once this boots up, guys, we will take a look at the magic that we just created. All right, all looks the same there. Still can't log in. We don't know the password, but click on accessibility, and we now have an admin command prompt. So from here, guys, it's pretty much game over. It's GG, bro. All you need to do is really you can reset the password. What I like to do first is net local group and then administrators. And what this is going to do is it's going to show all the users that are part of that local administrators group. Because obviously if you're trying to get into a computer, you probably want admin rights so you can actually do stuff. Otherwise, you have to take another step and escalate privileges, and that's a whole other video. All right, so I'm targeting the Damien account today, which is part of that local admin. So all I have to do now is type net user Damien, which is the name of the account, space asterisk. Hit enter, and now I'm just resetting the password. Type it once, hit enter, verify. Enter, and voila, you have reset the password to an admin account. System is now accessible by you. You have pwned them. Obviously, we're not using this for malicious purposes, but, you know, you're back in the system. You've saved the day. You look like Superman to your buddies or your family or whatever. All right, so now that we're in the system, we need to normalize things because let me show you if you log out, 
you're still going to have a gaping hole in your system. So if you just walk away and leave it like that, yeah, you might have helped your buddy out, but you also created a hole for him. Because now anyone that has access to this has a command prompt. And they could, you know, rubber ducky something. And they could just, you know, if they know a couple commands, they can get in just like we did. So we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to get back in here. We're going to normalize the system. You're not going to be able to do it from the GUI, but if you launch a command prompt as admin, then we can run it. We can accomplish what we're looking for. All right, so if we do a... Uh, well, let's talk about what we did. We made a backup of the utilman.exe, and basically we want to make that the utilman.exe again. So in order to do that, we need to delete the new utilman.exe, and we're already in the C Windows System 32 directory, which is the default for the command prompt because it lives there. So if we go del, which is delete utilman.exe, all right, that guy's gone. So now what we need to do is copy utilman backup to utilman.exe. It's gonna ask us yes or no, so we'll just flag the Y, and that's done. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can delete the backup, so we'll just do del utilman backup. And now your system is pretty much, not pretty much, literally normalized. So if we head into that System32 folder, it's a little easier from the GUI just to talk through it. We'll go to C, Windows System32, and let's look at our CMD. That's one of the files we were looking at. That launches a command prompt. Great. And we don't have a utilman backup, but we do have the built-in utilman.exe. So if we click on this... Just like I said, guys, you've got the accessibility. That's what it's supposed to be. Before we change that back, you were going to have a command prompt. All right, so just to validate, let's go ahead and get back to our screen. And here's our accessibility icon. Voila, back to what it should be. Just like Microsoft drew it up. That's it guys, that is how you reset a password that you may have forgotten and get into a PC that you're locked out of without any third party tools, just using the keyboard itself. And it looks pretty badass if you do this for one of your friends or your family members, they're gonna think you're a straight up wizard, which you probably are if you know how to do this, so that's awesome. All right guys, I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Please consider hitting that thumbs up button if you got any value or you found this entertaining. And if you haven't already subscribed guys, I really would appreciate it. I know. You know, the channel's growing over 5,000. I'm really loving it. But I look at my analytics, and over 90% of you guys that view my videos are not subscribed. So, you know, it doesn't cost you anything. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and you're going to get a lot of cool content coming up. And if you really want to support the channel and you want some badass utilities, check out my shop, bootableusbs.com. There'll be some info somewhere in this video or the description. Feel free to check that out. I've got some of the... I have the best USBs, not some of them. I have the greatest USB ever created. It's the Ultimate USB version 2. It is hands down the best USB ever made. I won't go into details here. Check it out in the shop. Let me know if you disagree. I'm open to a debate. I really do feel like this is the greatest USB ever created, hands down. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Drop me a comment. Share this with your friends. Have a great day. Until the next one, guys, take care.